Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OB Jellicent, and I got past this team on Discord with an Amoongus on it, which I haven't tried ever since the DLC came out, so I figured let's go ahead and see what's up with them on. The thing I really like about Amoongus is the fact that because a lot of grass types really can't take on Amoongus, like Rillaboom and Tangrowth, you basically guarantee a Spore every game. The only Mon that can really take Spore and comfortably take the other attacks as well is Mandibuzz, and that's due to its ability Overcoat, which prevents it from getting put to sleep, but aside from that, we basically guarantee at least one Mon getting spored. We have Sludge Bomb. Foul Play is mainly here just to catch a Lolan Marowak on the switch, and I'm assuming because that thing is uh, really strong on the physical offense, so we can steal that attack stat and knock it out. Weavile is Choice Band, which I haven't used any Weavile besides Swords Dance with Heavy Duty Boots, so I really am excited to try this as well. We have Low Kick, which helps out against the Dark type or Shifu. Magirna is Assault Vest. It's a really good check to opposing Magirna, as well as a few rain Pokemon like Kingdra. The power on right here is Fizz Death with Leftovers. I like to run Rocky Helmet on mine, but I don't like to change other people's teams, so I'm sticking with the Leftovers. We have Max Speed Defog Rotom Heat right here. Really good Skarm check, which the team otherwise kind of struggles to break, and then just Nasty Plot Alakazam with the Focus Sash. Basically the only viable set if you're not running the Expanding Force one with Ndidi, so that is going to be the team. Let's go ahead and get a game. Alright, I have a game right now. My opponent is running some Sticky Webs with Hawlucha. I definitely like my Sash Zam, but if I want to beat the Rillaboom, Rotom Heat's going to be very vital there. Magirna is definitely what I thought would be the lead, but I guess I can go Hippo here and take this thing on. As it just goes for rocks, that's cool. I can go for rocks too. And then, I guess Amoongus is the best player, right? I don't want to go out into Rotom and get Grassy Glided. That would actually kind of hurt. Wow, that is very banded. Okay. <laughs> that actually did so much. But with that in mind, I could throw off a Sludge Bomb, but I think Foul Play might honestly be better. Spore is also cool, but like, I'm just going to Sludge Bomb actually in case he wants to double knock off. Because you either click knockoff again, or you go to like... It was Marowak. Okay, well it's boots, obviously. Could have clicked foul play there, but I didn't. That's fine, though. I'll switch here, get regen. He actually misses Poltergeist, which is a bit unfortunate for him. That's why I don't run that move. But, um, yeah, I'll go for Earthquake. I ran Shadow Bone in my video. We'll see what he does here. He could go back to Rillaboom if he really wants to, but honestly, Earthquake, even under terrain... It's going to do like a clean 2%, so I don't know if he wants to go out into that or not. I don't know, he could also just use this turn to go Rybombi and get up webs, but... Is this Levitate? It is, okay, that's fine. He's probably going to throw off what, like a Willowis Pier? I'm just going to go to Magirna, I think. Magirna doesn't really care about this thing. If he goes to this, I could Focus Blast, but I feel as though... It's a bit risky because I kind of don't want to miss... Could Volt to Rotom, that's also a good play, but Rotom's really important. Whatever, dude, let's just hit. Nice, okay, so we get rid of the zone. Uh, good, but not really, like, game-changing at all. I think I probably win, though. Like, between Weavile and Rotom, I think I have a lot of things going in my favor here. Doesn't Weavile have a better speed tier than Rev? Yeah, it does, okay. So that's really important. I can spam Icicle Crash since the Marowak is very low and the Magnet Zone is dead. So those are all things I want to keep in mind here. Weezing shouldn't take two banded icicle crashes. Maybe it does. I mean, Weezing's Fizz Def is very good, as we all know. The Galarian Weezing is, like, insanely good at countering dark types. But he goes to Rillaboom. I'm assuming this is going to throw off, like, a banded Woodhammer or something. I don't need Magirna. I'm just going to throw off Flare Cannon if he wants to mess up. But he does go for that Woodhammer. And the thing is, because I know he's banded, I can make that Weavile play and click Icicle Crash. Or actually Triple Axle, which I <laughs> kind of forgot. But I really hope I can hit multiple. That would be awesome. Please. I just need to hit into the Weezing twice and then I probably knock it out. Come on. I really need to hit this Triple Axle right here. I wish I was Icicle Crash. I might change it because this move is really bad sometimes. Yeah, like right there, as you can see, I didn't knock it out because of the way this move works. So, I think the next one would kill, though, so I'm going to try to hit all three. Crit, 20, 21, okay. I don't think the crit matters, though. Like, the third hit would do a lot more. 
Wait, why? Are you Scarf? No, you're just banking on my miss and it worked. <laughs> Alright, well, if I could get my KO, that would be awesome. But yeah, you see what I mean with this move? This move is so bad. So this is going for Grassy Glide. I do have a Defogger, so it could be worth keeping around. In fact, yeah, I will. Yeah, that's definitely the play. And then I can just go for Foul Play here. Knock that out, and then he's going to go Halucha. If it is Substitute, I think the best play is... Just Sludge Bomb Spam. I do have my... My Sash Zam, after all. Yeah, so I just click Psychic here. Beat this thing, and then I can beat the Rilla Boom, but... Dude, I hate Triple Axel. Like, that move is so scary. Because if you don't get the third hit, it's actually so weak. Like, you saw how much I did to that Weezing with the second hit. It wasn't really that good. But anyway, I don't know if he's planning on switching. He honestly, sh like, there's no way he can win. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Because, like, if he switches, he's dead. If he stays in, this is dead. And that thing cannot win the game. I think the safest thing to do would be defog with Rotom, then pick it off with Weavile. But I could just try to overheat into it if I want to do that. Why are you delaying the inevitable, dude? Just click acrobatics, like, there isn't really much to think about here, yeah. And then I guess he's gonna forfeit, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here, my opponent does have Volcarona, which is actually really problematic for this team, so... I think Sash Jam can help, but... Uh, how do I actually want to win this? Like, Weavile does look good spamming knockoff here, that's something I noticed, I guess the, the Skarmory could be bad. Yeah, but I'm really worried about Volcarona. That mon kind of beats this team down, so we'll figure that out. I could try to get up early rocks, but if he leads Rillaboom, he gets a free hit into somebody. I think we'll lead you. Well, obviously, this isn't good. I'm going to make the Hippo play here because it can take this. If he goes for U-turn, that's fine, but he just looks Pyro Ball. And then I can get up rocks here. I doubt you stay in. Yeah, he goes Rillaboom. And I'm basically, well, not back at full, but I'm healthy enough to take on Cinderace, which is what I care about. And we'll go Amoongus here on the knockoff. That one's a life orb, okay. Does he have anything that could prevent a spore? Not that I'm noticing. I mean, I guess he could leave this in, but that makes no sense at all. So I'm going to spore here. Yeah, like, <laughs> that would hurt if he did stay in and just double knocked or whatever, but I figured he wouldn't. My Amoongus is low though, which is a bit annoying, but I'm hoping he goes Skarm here and it lets me put it to sleep. He goes Lax. Okay, well I don't know if Lax has Sleep Talk, but I think I want to get in Weavile and throw off Knockoff here. I could also Low Kick, but I, I think he's going to go Skarm for sure, so I'm just going to knock off. Oh, he actually stayed in. Well, he didn't wake up, which is important, but I could have just picked up the KO, which is the sad part. <laughs> but now he's going to go Skarm, right? You Scarf? I guess you are. Like, what? <laughs> that has to be Scarf then, and I don't want to take a U-turn. It did do Scarf damage to my Hippo earlier, so that's probably what it is. Um, well, the thing is, his sleeping Pokemon is dead, so even if he does U-turn to Volcarona, I can't get swept by it. Unless it's uh, Subquiver Dance, which we're gonna hope it isn't. <laughs> Goes right for your Grassy Glide, that is good. Yeah, I'm just going to continue sporing. That's always the best play. Ideally, I can play it into a situation where Volcarona never gets a setup opportunity. So this is obviously good for me. We're going to make the play here into Rotom Heat. I don't want to take this hit at all. Like, Rotom might actually help out against Volcarona if it's not Roost. So I think the best play is once again Hippo. Every time Rillaboom comes in, it's taking Hazards and Life Orb, so I don't even care about it. Like... And I can beat the Bisharp using Weavile's low kick because it doesn't die to Sucker Punch at all. So I think I'm keeping what I need to. He goes a Volk. You're trying to set up or are you trying to, um... Like, what's the deal here? I'm just going to Whirlwind you out. I don't want to get swept yet. He actually misses, which is pretty unfortunate for him. I do feel bad. Uh, Skarm is asleep, meaning if I did go Amoongus, I couldn't put Volcarona to sleep. Um... I guess I'll stay in. Okay, now he's at plus two. <laughs> That's really bad. Okay, we'll go Amoongus here. I'll let him knock me out with a U-turn, I guess. I mean, like, 
I would go out into my Magirna, but Magirna is good, so what's the point? Yeah, he didn't U-turn as he saw. So he has a priority Grassy Glide in the current situation, meaning... I like Weavile Ice Shard a lot. In fact, I think that is the play because this thing's dead on entry and Skarm hasn't burnt a single sleep turn. So that's good. Still worried about the Volk though. Volk is, um... Volk is a pain, but I think here I can go Hippo. On the Iron Head. That's obviously good for me. I'm not going to bother doubling around on the, the Skarm. It's really not worth it. I just Earthquake. And then if he makes the Skarm play, I can go Rotom here. Yep. I want to say Volt Out. And then Volt Out again. Spikes up, okay. do this. Dude, I'm scared of that thing. I feel like he quiver dances. No, he attacks. That's fine though. If I can get it to where I can sweep with a Weavile, that would be ideal. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna lose to quiver dancers to Volcarona. So here I go to you, click, overheat, and then he's going to go Volcarona and Quiver Dance now, right? So I think I lose to that without a doubt, like there's no way I beat that. I have Ice Shard, I have Iron Head, but I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, all he has to do is bug buzz, and uh, I can't beat that, like. If he has a roost, then it's definitely over, but I'll try to get him in range of Weavile's Ice Shard. No, but I lose anyway to uh, Cinderace, unless it misses. Unless Bandit Ice Shard kills it. Okay, well, that's a good start. You had a roost or not? Yo, hold up, this is actually going kind of well. Can I sure kill Cinderace at 20? Um, I don't know why I'm calcing it, it's my only play here. 19 to 22. Okay, um, I'll be right back. I didn't even know they gave her Shifu a sprite. It's actually looking pretty cool now, but I think what I want to do here is... Pressure with Weavile, get rid of stuff like Chansey's of Violet maybe, or... Ferrothorn, but another Volcarona, dude. Why does everybody run that mon? Especially when I'm running a team that's 6 would by it, unfortunately. I'm gonna lead off with... I mean, I can beat it if I prevent the Quiver Dances, but that's pretty hard. Let's lead you. This is good because I really can't get 2 it KO'd by this. I don't think so. Yeah, no way. And I can slack off here. I mean, he can't crit on top of his crit, so I can just spam slack off and be good to go. I don't know what's the point of this, dude. Like, are you hoping I don't slack off? Or are you hoping I switch or something? Okay, so he goes to this. Probably gonna teleport. Maybe Future Sight. If I go Magirna and he goes Excadrill, that's kind of annoying. So I think I go Amoongus here. It is Future Sight, okay. He should teleport to um, Pharah or go hard into it. I mean, this is cool though because I can take the future side using Mag and Focus Blast through his Mon here. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Even if he not, yeah, I knew he would knock off, but that's okay. Please go hard drill and just get Focus Blasted for no reason. That would be funny. <laughs> okay, at least we're hitting. It is Choppleberry. But it looks like the next one easily knocks him out. Should I Focus Blast again? No, it's not worth it. Did I crit him? Oh, I did. Wow. That's huge, dude. I feel bad now. That actually sucks. 
question is, who doesn't invite in Rashifu? <laughs> That's the problem here. Everybody does. Okay, we'll go Hippo. Hippo is pretty good at this point. He's probably gonna go Chansey or Pharaoh. Because Volcarona can't really set up reliably on Hippo, like I'll beat it using Sand plus Earthquake. Yeah, he goes Chansey. I'm assuming Toxic comes out here. Yep. I know he's not gonna go Drill after I showed Vokus Blast. I mean, might not later, but definitely not now. Actually, this, this guy's natural here, right? Yeah, that's not gonna help me at all. Okay, I'm gonna make a little bit of a risky maneuver into Weavile on the soft boil. Yeah, if he toxic there, I would have lost the game like instantly, but it's okay, because he didn't. That's the only- wow, he's really low on the ladder, dude. I need to win. 1482. No, I was really hoping that would be like some sort of roll. Anyway, I don't know if I can win now. I did Chansey is such a pain. Okay, whatever. Um, every Pokemon is such a pain, right? Let's go Mag. Just spam Iron Head. It's doing a decent amount. I mean, like, I'll take it. Especially if I continue doing that. Yeah, these odds are pretty good. There we go. That's how you beat a Magirna. I mean, a Chansey. How many times did I flinch right there? Like, too many times, right? This mag's getting so lucky. Like, didn't it dodge the fire blasts from Volcarona last game, which has allowed me to put this Volk in range of Iron Head? Anyway, here's where I lose. Um, yeah, like, I, I just lose. That's all there is to this. I'm gonna go to you and hope that maybe Psychic can do something. But if it's a Roost, then this is, like, so over. I don't think it's a Roost, because he would have... Okay, let's think. Who's more important, Weavile or Rotom? I think Rotom's probably worse. I'm gonna go to that first. If she shows Roost, I lost. So, you know, there's that. Oh, that didn't do damage. What? That one's horrible. So we get rid of that, and I still have Weavile. I didn't even have to use Weavile to beat the Volk that time. So who does he go to now? I think he probably goes to Shifu. No, he goes to Drill because he wants to spin. Or SD and Iron had flinched me. Or crit, okay, but he didn't knock me out. I was about to say he could try to crit, but luckily I lived. Wait, do I lose anyway because of that crit? Shifu's at 82? Maybe. I might have lost because he crit me. Maybe not. Because it's obviously banded, right? So I go Weavile, click Low Kick here, knock out Pharaoh. And then he has to lock Sucker Punch to beat me here, so I win. Yeah. Okay, nice. So I will be right back. I'll learn to have a game right here. My opponent is kind of weak to my Alakazam, but if they have Dragon Darts on the Dragapult, that is going to be kind of an issue, but... I think regarding a lead, they're going to lead either Weavile or Dragapult. Those two make a lot of sense the way I see it, but... Yeah, Triple Axelin is an issue too for Alakazam. I have to keep that in mind as well. I think... Mag deals with both. If they lead Cinderace, I can go Hippo. Yeah, but I figured it would be one of those, so... Right here, they would U-turn into Pex or AV Tang. Or go directly into Cinderace, okay. Well, I can just use the turn to get up rocks, I guess. I'm not really scared of Cinderace. I could also just Earthquake, but there's no way, reason for them to stay in here. They would go Tang or Skarm, yeah. And now I can either get in Rotom and try to break with that. I don't want to take a Body Press, but then again, who else am I really going to bring in here? Yeah, they go for Defog, which is good for me, because now I get to throw off an Overheat. Actually, let's just Volt out again, keep up the momentum. They're gonna go either Dragapult or maybe Pax was the other option, but at least by doing this, now what I get to do is bring out... 
I haven't seen anything about this yet, so we're just gonna go to Mag again. And uh, same sort of deal, just Volt out and see what they do. Last time they went Cinderace. I could Flur Cannon this time, I don't think it's worth my time though. I still think they're gonna go like Tanger Packs for sure, so let's try to catch it. I could maybe get in. Okay, I should have gone for that Flur Cannon because they actually stayed in. <laughs> I didn't think they would risk it, but I guess I was keeping up the momentum, so maybe they didn't want to mess with that. Alright, I'm going to make a little bit of a risky maneuver and go to you, and... I'm going to go for knockoff expecting packs, and I'm probably going to regret it, but... They shouldn't stay in here, like... Yeah, they go Skarm, okay, that's good. I get rid of a helmet, meaning I can spam triple axle, but not really, because they have a Toxapex. I feel like they body press it this time, so I'm gonna go Amoongus. No, they go for rocks, which is fine. I can spore somebody. It's gonna be the Cinderace. If they double, that's good for them, but I'm just gonna get in my hippo here. Good double, yeah, I, I figured they could. Honestly, I could stay in. But if they're banded triple axle, I can't take that hit, so let's get out of here. I don't know, I kind of want to get up rocks and just throw this out, but... Cinderace is 61 and asleep. I don't need Hippo. I do live that, right? Yeah, okay. So not the best, but not the worst. I'll give it to them gladly, and then... Get in Mag and start to break with that Mon. Okay, not the worst situation. Like, honestly, it could be better, but... The fact that I have rocks up and the fact that Cinderace, which is one of the bigger threats... To Please get the Volt, though, because this is a free Zam. Okay, good. And with Skarm at 61, it's not going to take two Psychics. I doubt you go Hard Weavile. Like, they could. I'm not going to call it, though. Like, if they go Hard Weavile, they go Hard Weavile, but they're going Skarm. Or just stay in. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Didn't think that would ever be the play, but that does open up my Weavile a bit. The problem is I have to keep my Sash here. I could chip them away with the Helmet. Yeah, I feel like keeping Mag's health could honestly be better. They actually miss it. Kind of wanted them to hit, because now they can maybe roost up Skarm in the situation, which is annoying. Yeah, I don't want to take the hit with Mag, so I'm just going to stay in again. If they knock me out, which it seems like they will, look at that damage they're taking. Oh, did they miss the third one? They did. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's why I don't like that move. Like, I say it so many times, but... It's high base power, but such a big risk for no reason. They go for Hex here. Just go Mag. Yeah, like, that doesn't even hurt. And then I can click Flare Cannon. I feel like they just Hex fishing for the full para, which worked out for them. I'm um, annoying, but makes it a bit more interesting, so I'll take that. I mean, I, I basically won the game if I got that Flirt Cannon off, but I did have to break their para and hit it, so what can I really say about it, right? I think now... It's still probably a win, because they're not Dragon Darts, I don't think, so I can go Alakazam here and force the KO. Unless they're AV Tang, that would be the one bad thing, but yeah, I just go for Psychic. I don't know if they have U-Turn. They just suck it, okay, that's good. And now who comes in, right? Like... You go Skarm, it's dead. Very dead. You go Cinderace, you're asleep, and you haven't burnt any turns. They go Tang. Yeah, so I just hit this, then win with Rotom. That's the goal. I guess we'll first do this. I did knock off that helmet, and I'm gonna click, you know, the best move in the game, Triple Axle. Love this move. Did I ever mention how much I love Triple Axle and its accuracy? <laughs> I'm just messing around. It's really not that bad of a move when it hits all three times. Like, the power difference isn't noticeable, but... I don't know. I find that it just misses more than it hits. You know, I'm gonna take two helmet turns here, but that's whatever, like... I should still just win with Rotom at this point. And doesn't Skarm die? I feel like Skarm has to die if I hit all three. Well, you see, I'm not gonna hit all three because it's, it's triple axle, like, did you really expect it to? It is body press, okay. I guess it doesn't really matter if they... I'm just gonna Giga Drain to make sure they can't do anything, and then I'll go to you. I don't even know if Volt kills. 
Yeah, the best play is just overheat. And then, like, I can vault out here. They haven't burnt a single sleep turn, so I, I do win the game. Oh, that didn't actually, um... Hmm, okay. Did this take? Yeah, it's gonna be dead on entry, so I just go for Ice Shard. Pick that off, and then I can beat this Skarm. Yeah, and then I can just vault out here. And call that GG. Okay, nice. Glad we were able to do it despite that floor cannon. I'll be right back. Alright, so now we have this guy just running hyper offense. I can check the Bisharp using Hippo. Same with the Drill. I can beat the Mag using my Mag. I have Sash Shadow Ball to take on Poltergeist, so... Not looking bad. If this is a red card, I might die to Banded Knockoff. I have no idea what the, the role is, but... Yeah, I did just die. I was gonna say, if it's not Sash, I'm pretty sure you're dead right there. So no hazards for him. That's so good for me, like... Weavile has infinite switch-ins now, Mag doesn't have to take any prior damage when trying to check his. But then again, I am still facing HO, so is it ever over? Alright, like... That's the question here. I'm honestly considering attacking this. I do have a Hippo, I don't want to mess Ding. Oh, it's Scarf, and now it's dead. We've all ate Scarf EQ? Hmm. Okay, we've all, you're good. We've all is really nice. Should I just, I mean, this thing's already in range of Sucker, I'm just gonna attack with it again. If you want to Calm Mind, you can Calm Mind, dude, I don't care. Calm Mind, Shift Gear, yeah, sure, dude. I don't think this can win. And you can't Paint Split right now. I'm assuming it is pain split based on how they're playing it. No, it is just the draining kiss one, okay. If I just go to this and spam Iron Head. They can't really recover anything, and stored power shouldn't hurt a ton despite the boosts. Yeah, as you can see, like they're not gonna recover enough to live my hit here, and then Bisharp. I still have full health hippo, but I will just sack this to Volt. They're gonna go for the hacks, because that's all this guy knows how to do, I guess. I mean, he did go for the Scarf EQ, never mind. He, I would have Iron Head there, though. Like, I think you kind of have to go for hacks at that point. So what do you Psychic here? Yep. And then, basically, all I have to do is go to you. Click Volt. Bring out my Magirna. Click Iron Head to kill this. Or not kill it. Okay, I thought I would kill um, I could lose. Maybe. Might depend on how much Amoongus takes from that other guy, and whether I lose a speed tie. Never mind, they threw. <laughs> I don't know why they encored. Like, what, what did that accomplish? So, we're gonna try something here before committing to the Alakazam. I don't think I have any chance of living a stored power, but we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was happening. Okay, Alakazam, wrap it up here. Okay, nice. So, I will go ahead and get another... Let's wait for that to drop. Game. So, we have another game right here. This player has some really weird combination of offense, and I say that because they have Psychic Terrain with the Alakazam, but that Psychic Terrain also prevents Azumarill from clicking priority attacks. Unburdened Drifflim could be annoying, but I have Ice Shard Weavile, which can help out, as well as Sash Jam, which should be able to Shadow Ball it. I can break Mandibuzz using Magirna or Rotom. Weavile too, I guess, but... It doesn't look like they have any Rocky Helmet Pokemon. I think if they're gonna lead off with their Stealth Rocker, it's gonna be Kamo'o, of course, and... If they want Terrain immediately, it's going to be with the... Indeedee. I don't know if Triple Axel kills Kamo'o in one hit, so I'm just gonna lead off with Mag, which also kind of covers both of those mons. Like, I can take anything this wants to do here and just Volt out. I don't think they're staying in anyway, but... Okay, they go for Mystical Fire, huh? That's okay. I can go right for... I don't know if there's Scarf, which is the annoying thing about this. I'm just gonna hope they're not. I feel like that specs, because this one isn't very strong. So let's just go for Triple Axel here. I would knock off, but I want to see whether I hit this move. It is Scarf. Okay, but it doesn't do damage. And yeah, that's exactly why that move is horrible. Don't run that move. <laughs> Okay, well, at least Weavile's alive. I think Weavile being alive is more important than it actually being healthy. 
So out comes Kamo'o. Okay, we'll just go back to Maga. Like I said, I'm not confident that Weavile can kill it, and I know I'm going to miss anyway, so what's the point? Yeah, they, they don't have a fairy resist. I'm clicking Flare Cannon and picking up a KO. But now they might go back to Ndidi, but I'm just going to Iron Head it. No, they go Azu, which... I don't know if Azu can win. So they double in Ndidi. Hmm. Expanding Force is annoying. I can't click Ice Shard, unfortunately, and I definitely think my Focus Sash is worth keeping here. Okay, Hippowdon, you're not going to get O-Code by this, right? That's all I need you to do, not get O-Code. Good. <laughs> I was going to say, just don't get knocked out. <laughs> and then, um, I guess I'll give it to them. Like, it could be good, but I would rather keep Megirna healthier. How are Azu? I mean, I guess I could go Amoongus here, but if they're that Whirlpool set, they go for a knockoff, hoping I go Amoongus. I mean, like I said, I didn't need Hippo, so I'm just kind of keeping it in here until they actually decide to knock it out. But now they have to defog to get their uh, their thing back up, but they just go to Alakazam now. And click Shadow Ball, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to see whether Weavile can end this now. I am Jolly, after all. They're probably Sash, so I can go for Triple Axel. Pick up that KO, and probably pick up every KO if I can hit this move, which... I'm not gonna, so let's try to come up with another game plan right now. I think... Rotom is very good at breaking that Manda Buzz down. Yeah, like, I, I knew it wouldn't hit, because, like, it's, it's Triple Axel. Why would it ever hit, right? So go to you, click Iron Head. I think Rotom probably still wins this game. That's not gonna help you, dude. You're gonna do like 20% instead of, uh, well, they clicked Focus Blast, so now they're doing even less. And that's gonna be that, so I think we will go ahead and end things off right there. Not sure how long this live was, but I don't know, it was fun. I definitely enjoyed using Amoongus a lot. It was thankfully able to save me against that Kingdra against the Rain team. I think that was in this video, right? <laughs> I mean, it had to be because it was the only live where I used Amoongus, but I've recorded a few other videos today, so I'm kind of losing track of what games were played in which video, but Choice Band Weavile is also really good right now, but uh, as you can see, just run Icicle Crash, don't mess with this new move, like it's really not worth your time, and um, yeah, that's going to be that, so I'll see you guys in the next video, which will go live tomorrow.